Hello YouTube family, let's provide a solution given this nice exponential equation which is 2 to the power a plus 2 to the power b plus 2 to the power c is equal to 148. So what is the value of a, b and c? Now solution from here, we have 2 to the power a plus 2 to the power b plus 2 to the power c, this is equal to 148, all right? Now from what we have here, Let's form a product of two factors, that is to say 2 to power a into the parentheses. We'll have 2 to power a divided by 2 to power a plus 2 to power b, again divided by 2 to power a plus 2 to power c divided by 2 to power a. This is equal to 148. Now from what we have here, find that we'll have 2 to power a you simplify here, we'll have 1 plus 2 to the power b divided by 2 to the power a plus 2 to the power c divided by 2 to the power a. This is equal to 148. Okay? Now, from what we have here again, we can express this as 2 to the power a, 1 plus 2 to the power b divided by 2 to the power a plus 2 to the power c divided by 2 to the power a, this is equal to, you can express this, 148 can be expressed as 4 multiplied by that 7, okay? Now, given that, given we have the, this is the product of two factors, that's 4 times that 7, so we have 2, the first part is 2 to the power a, we equate to 4, okay? We equate to 4, so we'll have 2 to the power a, this is equal to 4, okay? Now, we can express 4, we can express 4 as 2 to the power 2, so we'll have 2 to the power a, this is equal to 2 to the power 2. And given that the bases are common, and given that the bases are common, that is a to the power m is equal to a to the power n, then the exponent m is equal to n, okay? So let's equate here quickly. Now we have that 2 to the power a is equal to 2 to the power 2 and given that the indices property a to the power m is equal to a to the power n then m is equal to n. So that means that a is equal to 2. That is the value of a. Now from what we have in the parentheses that is 1 plus 2 to the power b divided by 2 to the power a plus 2 to the power c divided by 2 to the power a. This is equal to that's 7, okay? Now, we take 1 on the right-hand side, which will have 2 to the power b, divided by 2 to the power a, plus 2 to the power c, divided by 2 to the power a. This is equal to that 7, subtract 1. So we take 1 on. So that 7 minus 1, this is 36, okay? Again, from what we have here, this is the same thing as 2 to the power b, okay? Plus 2 to the power c, divided by 2 to the power a. And, two to power, and remember a is equal to, we are saying that, but a is equal to 2 from what we have calculated. So we'll have 2 to power 2, this is equal to, that the 6 can be expressed as 3 to power 2 multiplied by 2 to power 2. All right? Now from what we have here, we can multiply both sides by 2 to power 2 and also here 2 to power 2. So that we'll have 2 to power b plus 2 to the power c equal to, this is the same thing as 3 to the power 2 multiplied by 2 to the power 4. All right? Now, from what we have here, okay, we're going to have 2 to the power b, okay, multiplied into the brackets 2 to the power b, sorry, divide by 2 to the power b, plus 2 to the power c divided by 2 to the power b, this is equal to 3 to the power 2 multiplied by 2 to the power 4. Okay, so let's, so we have 2 to the power b into the parentheses, 2 to the power b divided by 2 to the power b plus 2 to the power c divided by 2 to the power b. So this is equal to 3 to the power 2 multiplied by 2 to the power 4. So this is the product of two factors. So we're going to equate 2 to the power b. This is equal to 2 to the power 4. And given that 8 power m 
this is equal to 8 power n, and given that the bases are common, then the exponent m is equal to n. So that means that b is equal to 4. This is the value of b. All right, so we'll have, the second part we'll have, we'll have 2 to the power b divided by 2 to the power b plus 2 to the power c divided by 2 to the power b. This is equal to 3 squared, all right? Now, from what we have here, this is the same thing as 1 plus 2 to the power c divided by 2 to the power b. This is equal to 9. So let's take one on the right-hand side. We'll have 2 to the power c divided by 2 to the power b. This is equal to 8, okay? This is 9 minus 1, so this is 8, okay? But since we know the value of b, which is equal to 4, we'll have 2 to the power c. This is equal to 2 to the power 4. This is equal to 8 can be expressed as 2 to the power 3. So we'll have 2 to the power 3. So we multiply both sides by 2 to the power 4, by 2 to the power 4. So that we'll have 2 to the power c, this is equal to 2 to the power 3, multiplying by 2 to the power 4. And since 2 to the power 3 multiplying by 2 to the power 4 is in the form of a to the power n, multiplying by a to the power m, this can be expressed as a n plus m. So let's apply this property. We'll have 2 to the power c, this is equal to, 2 to the power 3 plus 4, which is equal to 7. So that means that since the bases are common, then C is equal to 7. That is the value of C. So that means that we have three solutions. Eh? That is A is equal to 2, B is equal to 4, and C is equal to 7. Okay? So let's verify that A equal to 2 and B equal to 4 and C is equal to 7 actually satisfies the equation. Now, if you recall, if you recall, we end at 2 to power a plus 2 to power b plus 2 to power c. This should give us a value of 148, okay? Now, let's substitute the value of a, which is 2, plus 2. Let's substitute the value of b, which is 4, plus 2 raised to power c, which is 7. This should give us a value of 148. Let's check that. So from what we have here, 2 to power 2, this is 4, plus 2 to power 4, this is 16, plus 2 to power 7, this is actually 128, this should give us a value of 148. So 4 plus 16, this is 20, plus 128, this should give us a value of 148. And it's true, 20 plus 128, this is 148, which is equal to 148. And that affirms that the left-hand side is equal to the right-hand side, okay? And that shows that the value of A, which is 2, the value of B, which is 4, and C, which is 7, actually satisfies the equation. So thank you for watching. Kindly like this video, comment, and subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.